Hello, my name is Jordan Bear, and I'll give you this presentation of Mother Teresa's servant leadership style. Mother Teresa started the Missionaries of Charity in 1950 to serve the poorest of the poor in Calcutta, India, and there on every continent by the 1990s. This was due to Mother Teresa's servant leadership. Mother Teresa was an ethical leader, and this inspired others to do the same. Ethical leaders are honest, humble, and care about others, while unethical leaders are generally concerned about themselves. Mother Teresa cared for each and every person that she served and treated each person with respect. She was once donated a limousine and she sold the limousine in order to fund the Center for the Poor. Mother Teresa's self-sacrificing -sac self leadership behaviors and traits allowed her to lead an organization that promised none of the usual measures of success and wealth. All she could promise was poverty and hard work. This is opposite of what most of us are doing in our careers, where we're trying to get promotions and get raises. Mother Teresa lived and worked for the poor for over 40 years, and this inspired others to do the same as she was practicing what she preached. These followers are needed in order to be an effective leader. Good followers help an or a other leader keep their organization's best sisters in mind, and they help this leader to see their blind spots. But in order to do this, there needs to be a good relationship between the leader and the follower. Mother Teresa plays an active role in the orientation of new novice and always made sure she got to know their strengths and needs. This allowed her to put her new novices only in the best possible positions to, to advance fastest, but also in order to get that relationship. So, because she knew she needed people to help her run this organization. One of her famous quotes is, I can do things you cannot. You can do things I cannot. Together, we can do great things. Mother Teresa knew she needed the help of followers and other people in order to be a great leader. She even possessed some of the five tenets of courage that are needed to be a good a leader and follower. Uh, one of which was that when she just was self accountability, when she discovered that the books were not being kept properly, she went out and brought in an organization to help her fix that. Uh, motivational theories are important in leadership because if you know what motivates a person, then you can put them not only in the best possible position, but also know how to manage them. Mother Teresa was motivated by achieve potential, serve, make it right, and develop, all of which are about helping people either do their best or get what they need. Emotional intelligence is another important aspect of, of being a leader. And there's four components of self-awareness, self-management, uh, social awareness, and relationship management. Mother Teresa had all of these. Self-awareness, you can control, you realize what your emotions are and you don't let them affect your life and work. Self-management, you control disruptive, unproductive, or harmful emotion desires. An example of this is when Mother Teresa went to a baker and asked for some bread for the children. The baker just spit in her hand. Instead of getting upset and angry, like most of us would, rightfully so, she just put out her other hand and said, thank you, sir, that was for me. May I still have some bread for my children? That baker not only gave her some bread at that point in time for, for the children, but he continued to donate. Mother Teresa used that moment in order to help serve the people she was there to serve instead of herself. Uh, there's also social awareness, which is the ability to understand others and relationship management, which is how you connect with others. Mother Teresa had all four of these and had a high emotional intelligence. Her high emotional intelligence and her ethical leadership attracted the followers. And her motivational theories, along with what she called her call, helped her to be that servant leader. So all these are very important aspects of leaders are important in found, founding Mother Teresa and kind of developing her future and allowing her to go in the course of, you know, 40 years from just in Calcutta, India, all over the all over all continents to help as many people as she could. Hope you enjoyed this short uh, overview of Mother Teresa's leadership style.